little update tonight. Um, and what we've got here are the RS setters, so the Red Wing RS setters. Um, these are the 8864. These are a Gore-Tex lined Mokto boot. Um, very much a rework of the classic 875, so the same Christie sole, all that sort of stuff, um, but with the benefits of a Gore-Tex lining throughout. Um, obviously with Gore-Tex lining, you'll have come across it in uh, sort of weather wear, coats and so forth. It's waterproof and breathable membrane. Um, tiny, tiny little pores, billions per square inch, I think. Um, just allows the water vapour out so your, your feet can breathe, if you will, um, but keeps the, the moisture from the outside outside, which is uh, where you want it to be. Um, really, really nice boots. Um, been wearing these for 12 months, so well in time or well due for a update. Um, these also benefit from a waterproof leather. Uh, this is the Russet Tau leather. A um, little bit of staining from uh, when they've got very, very wet, and we'll get into that in a minute. Um, but yeah, really nice winter boots, uh, and they are indeed uh, truly waterproof or water resistant uh, in my experience. I've been wearing these a little bit more now that we move into the winter months. Uh, also been wearing the sawmills. Uh, the sawmills are pretty much my preferred uh, countryside boot because of the, uh, the Vibram lug sole there but they don't offer the, the same water resistance as the, uh, as the Irish setters here. Really nice boots, they're, they're lined, um, but they're lined for, for warmth rather than waterproofness, and you can see there's quite a lot of salt staining from where they've, they've got absolutely soaked the other day. Need a bit of care. And uh, yeah, my feet got pretty wet, um, very, very wet underfoot. The little woolen liner shrunk a little bit on the inside, so they need to be replaced. So if you want to get your feet wet, um, really, these are the boots for you. Um, yeah, so just going over what we've got here. Um, these were, I believe, a limited edition. They were released in October 21. Um, but a year on, uh, I am seeing some restocks on these, so I'm not sure how limited they are. Uh, and that's no bad thing, because they're rather nice. And I think probably the only Gore-Tex offering from Red Wing at the moment. So. I'm pleased to see that these are still in circulation. If you want to check them out, I think Herring Shoes, who were kind enough to provide these originally, have these on their webpage. Uh, they are sort of premium priced, but you are getting Gore-Tex line boot. Um, and I'm pretty pleased with these, actually. They're really nice. In terms of sizing, um, my general sort of rule on mock toes is true to size. Uh, these are built on the same last as the 875s, uh, which, Incidentally, also the sawmills are. There's quite a lot of variation, though, I find, in the, in the sizing between them. The sawmills are pretty narrow, uh, and I think that's generally accepted uh, by people who've tried these out. Um, these are a little bit more generous. They, they've got a little bit more headroom, similar to the 1907s, um, and maybe a slightly narrower in the forefoot because of the lining. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd still recommend going true to size, even if they're slightly more generous than the normal 875 last, or uh, the normal 23 last rather. Um, thick socks winter, you want a bit more space. I wouldn't go down half a size on mock toes, I've, I've not been convinced of that. Round toe boots, absolutely, the Iron Rangers, the Chuckers, the Rovers, half a size down every day on those, but these um, I do maintain True to size is the way I prefer to size them. Um, breaking them in, very easy. Um, this leather doesn't offer the the same resistant as same resistance as the, uh, the the leather they use on the 875s, which I think is the Oro Legacy. I might be might be wrong on those or Oro Original. Can't quite remember. But the the leather on these is is much more pliable. Um, the lining kind of gives you a little bit softer feel underfoot from the get go. Um, maybe it stops a little bit of the, the rubbing on the heel, but I've found these really easy to break in um, and they've been good for the day one. Um, before we move into the close-ups, just on the uh, on the staining, um, I was a bit surprised. You know, this is a waterproof leather. They have kept my feet dry, um, but from the get-go, 
uh, just on the creases around the forefoot here, it did seem to let a little bit of water bleed in. Uh, I didn't make it all the way through, um, but it did stain the leather. Now initially I thought, well that's just moisture, it'll dry out, um, but the same stains persisted and they've sort of gathered up a few more stains over time. These have absolutely been soaked absolutely all the way through, so it does just seem to be around some of these um, uh, bend points where maybe the the outer surface of the leather has been weakened because of the movement of my feet. Um, they do need a bit of care. Um, they've been a year uh, in use and um, I am going to give them a bit of the uh, Red Wing Leather Cream. I haven't used that product before. A lot of people have said the Red Wing Leather Cream uh, prevents staining, um, which is definitely uh, a good thing. Sorry, not staining, present, prevents darkening. Uh, I do like my boots to be their original colour. Um, so I'll be giving that a go. I might do a video on that. Um, more to do with the, the experience of the other cream. I think I might put, pop it on my chuckers as well and we'll see how that performs. Um, the sawmills need a little bit of love as you can see they're a bit dried out, uh, a bit of water stained, salt stained. Um, I'm not sure if the internet needs any more ASMR boot cleaning videos but if you think it does let me know and maybe I will do one of those but I'll certainly be reviewing the, clean, uh, the leather cream. Okay, well we'll get into some close-ups and uh, look at the details. And just coming in for a few close-ups, we'll start from the bottom. Um, obviously you've got the, the classic Red Wing Christie sole. Really, really comfortable. I think it looks great. Um, not the longest wearing sole if you're going to wear these on concrete, but they are designed as a off-road boot. Um, the low profile being such that you don't tread a lot of... Um, mud into your home when you return. Um, personally, I prefer a, a more chunky sole for outdoors, but uh, something like the Vibram Lug, but that's a sort of heritage behind it. Um, obviously, it's a Goodyear welted, um, so it's recraftable. So strip off the sole when it's worn out, replace it with a, a new one or, or something different if you want to change it up. Uh, this is actually a storm welt, so you've got that extra a uh, bit of beading around the edge there um, and that, if I understand correctly, really just acts as a physical barrier uh, stopping water getting into the the lowest of edge of your shoe where it meets the sole. Seems to work. I like the look of it as well aesthetically. Um, obviously you've got the waterproof uh, russet tau leather. Really quite nice colour to it. It doesn't uh, have that sort of lift up or pull up uh, oily uh, character to it. It actually just feels like a normal polished leather and it is indeed suitably water resistant. As I said earlier on there is a bit of water staining around these uh, sort of bend points here. Uh, the water never made it through to my feet uh, but it has left a little bit of a, a stain and that sort of came in as soon as I got these wet ready uh, it's built up a little bit over time not getting significantly worse I did think it would dry out but it's actually discoloured the leather and um, we'll give it a go with the, the leather cream see if we can even that out at all um, but not a problem aside from the aesthetics obviously you've got the triple stitch Puritan stitch there, got the little Gore-Tex label, double stitching up the heel stay, fairly generous proportions, this is a 23 last but maybe wears a little bit larger than the original 875s, nickel Eyelets, a bit of piping around the top. Just take a look on this boot in terms of how it goes together around the tongue and the, uh, the lining. Um, but before I do, always forget to say uh, the Red Wing Taslin, I think it is, laces. Um, absolutely indestructible. I've had lots of boots over the years um, from other brands where eventually the laces snap. Sometimes really prematurely um, but 
these are absolutely indestructible. I've had a pair of these in my 875s. They're getting on for 10 years old now. Um, still the original laces, lots and lots of wear. Resold, didn't need to relace them. Um, really, really good product. Not quite sure what it's made out of. I'm guessing it must be synthetic, but great laces. Um, yeah, so just looking inside here, you've got obviously the bellows tongue. I think uh, the bellows might be slightly higher than some of the other mock toes. Don't quote me on that, um, but suitably high. So be sort of ankle deep in water before your your uh, your tongue was uh, not helping you out. On the inside, you've got a slightly different label to the normal Red Wing one. You've got the RS Setter, it's a heritage label there. And then the normal information you get on the inside of the Red Wing label, uh, which is normally on the tongue, is replicated on this little tag. I did think initially that would be somewhat short-lived, um, but it seems to be holding up fine. And uh, 0621, so these were made in in June 21. It's a pretty fresh out the factory when I'd got them on my feet. And so a bit of piping around the top. And then inside you've got the, the Gore-Tex lining throughout, so it's a, a full Gore-Tex boot, as you'd expect. You can see a little bit of quilting in the sole there. Um, I don't think that really offers any additional padding per se, but I think it just keeps it all in place as your foot moves over it. Um, but yeah, these are their waterproof boot offering and uh, yeah they've worked out pretty well. well. That pretty much brings us to the end of the review. As I said these were originally I believe uh, sold as a limited edition. They are appearing to restock again um, as we move into the winter months of 2022 a year later. Um, premium priced but as I say the only Gore-Tex lined offering from Red Wing currently they are truly waterproof. Um, they've kept my feet dry under some pretty soggy conditions. I'm pretty pleased with them, um, so I can recommend them. If you want to check them out, I'll put a link to Herring Shoes below and a discount code. Um, if you're not in the UK, I think they're restocking in the uh, other retailers of Red Wing as well. Um, I will be trying out the Red Wing Leather Cream, and I'll do a little review on that because, you know, as I say, it's supposed to uh, pr protect your clothes, right? uh, protect your shoes without any darkening, um, and we'll just find out whether that's true. Okay, well, that's about it. Um, if you want any ASMR boot cleaning videos, let me know. We can knock those out. I'm not sure if the world needs those. Um, and that's about it. Okay, if you haven't seen the channel before, please check it out. Um, you might share some other common interests, heritage boots, denim, everyday carry, fountain pens, that sort of stuff. Um, if you've had these boots and you've got some thoughts on them, please share it below. If you thought the video was useful, thumbs up, and we'll see you for the next video. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.